so we actually got texture on the wall. I got a car washing bucket. I mean, I went to the dollar store. Three bucks. Front door. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. There have been so many people working at the house this week. They've been doing sheetrock. They've been doing fireplace stuff. They've been doing the columns in the front. The, the AC guys were there. They're supposed to be texturizing today. They're just all the things. So I actually got, I just kind of slept in today, which was wild, I stayed up late. So I went down there, I took a load of all of the stuff that we've been packing up for the house. I took that down to the house this morning, thinking I was rushing down there to see them doing more stuff and I show up, no one's there. I guess I shouldn't complain. They've been there every day. The rock guys were supposed to be coming back today to clean everything up, um, get a rock, like it's, it's a disaster. They were supposed to be doing that. So they're probably coming this afternoon. It's, it's like 11 something. The texture guys were supposed to be there to texturize the sheetrock. Someone definitely came this morning because all the extra sheetrock is gone. So they definitely picked that up, but I don't know where the texture guys are. Yeah, I want to work on my floors. They needed to texturize uh, my walls. Anyways, it's a work in progress still. Uh, Romeo had to run to Fred so I came back here. I was getting really hungry. No one was there. It was not very exciting, but I still do want to work on projects today. So we'll go back down there and work for a little bit. Let's make some lunch. Mm. So we are going to make creamy caramelized onion chicken with apple, walnut, carrot, ribbon, salad. <sighs> Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I love them. It's been years now. I've ordered it every week. So easy, saves on food waste. You have everything that you need in these packs, all the ingredients that you need so you don't have leftover ingredients. You don't have to go to the grocery store. Produce comes to you faster. So we get three meals every week. HelloFresh has over 50 menu and market options to pick from every week. And with their fit and wholesome recipes, you can indulge in delicious meals without the worries. I'm such a creature of habit when it comes to meals that I like. So I love that HelloFresh gets me out of my recipe rut. It gets me to try new foods and flavors. And I've actually learned a thing or two about cooking. So. It's a win-win. Since we're always on the go too, I like upping our serving sizes to four per meal so that we can have extras for lunch the next day too. So if you guys wanna try out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code McKenna16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Today is Saturday, so maybe they were gonna work later in the day. I have projects I wanna work on anyway, so we're gonna work down there for the rest of the day. Really good. Made us an after lunch coffee. I don't know where my other container is. I don't know where mine is. <laughs> like my my white to go container. This is my dad's. Okay. What? We lose a lot of our coffee containers. We lose a lot of our coffee containers. Yeah, we misplace it. We have it for two yeah. weeks and we're, we're always on the run. We're always on the go. I just want them to be there and finish so that they don't have to come back. Do you know what I mean? Like that's like what I want. You know, rock is still rock is still there. On the ground. Mm -hmm. So we didn't come? The queen? Dang, not one car. One from Man, six cars to... I'm not... Right? They both said that they would be here today. I bet they realized it was Saturday. <laughs> what, you said someone came? Yeah, no, they definitely... The sheet rockers came because... Took all the sheet rock? They, the, the extra sheet rock's gone. Yeah, they picked okay. it up. Because I, I told them, I was like, you need to get this out of here. I need to do the floors. Yeah. Hello, guys. It is the next day. Oh, where's this? Where's that? We worked at the house all day yesterday. Nobody showed up. But the, today, this morning, I did get pictures from, I was doing some editing work and I got pictures from the Mason and they did go. They're gonna have to make one more trip. He said he filled up his truck. Um, so he's gonna come, they're gonna come back tomorrow. I'm starting a big project. Um, while we're still waiting, I, we've been trying to figure out what projects we can do outside the house because they're still in the house we can't we can't do anything until the sheet rocks finished so i'm gonna start working on our kitchen cabinetry i know can you imagine i'm like we're there i need kitchen cabinets um which is great because we're gonna be able to have it measured especially the bottom kitchen cabinets we're gonna be able to have it measured the um fabricator to come out for our countertops that's gonna be exciting um so we're, I can build the cabinets outside, you know what I mean? And, and start working on them at least. And then we can install them once they've uh, finished the sheetrock. So 
thinking that that's like the best plan of attack. And then we can do the floors. And then we can do the guest bathroom makeover like actually in the house, not just DIYs for it. So it's all a work in progress. So we're in Kerrville right now. We came to eat at the lake house, but they're closed on Sunday. Today's Sunday. I know, we drove all the way over here. <laughs> it's closed. So what are we gonna eat? Schlotzky's? Schlotzky's, wow, there's a I've never had a Schlotzky's. Um, so we're gonna eat Schlossies and then we came here because I have to go to the hardware store So we're gonna run by Home Depot and pick up all of the little things that I need uh, for the cabinets I got a Fiesta sandwich and barbecue chips I never can't find anything when I come to the hardware store I always have to look it up online like what aisle it's in Bay 15 You went too far Wait, where's Bay 15? Craig, we're gonna be using three quarter inch plywood. Normally that means you need half an inch over. Yeah, one and a quarter, I was right. One and a quarter. And this is for soft plywoods. There's, they make soft, soft and hardwood. You don't want the hardwood ones. You have the tool for this, right? Yeah, this is what we got at the estate sale. Oh, that's oh. right. Remember? Quarter, we're doing three quarter inch thick cabinets and I'm doing it all the way around. It's pretty, right? Mm -hmm. What's well, gonna be paint in anyways? I always forget to bring a tape measure to the hardware store, so I pick one up <laughs> from like the end caps to measure. So I'm thinking instead of cutting my own face kind of frames for the cabinetry, I just wanna get one by three boards because their actual measurement is three quarters of an inch de depth by two and a half. Ideally, I'd want it two inches. I could always cut them down a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna get a couple, and if it works on the first couple of uh, cabinets, we'll come back and get one. But you always want your boards as straight as possible. So I put them down on the floor like this. I'm like so excited to start on the cabinetry. I think the most complicated part is like all of the boxes of the cabinetry together. Not one box cabinetry carcass itself. I feel like it's almost too easy of a thing. I mean, I've built like patio chairs and entryway tables and I feel like there's gonna be a hiccup along the way or something, but hey, maybe it is. Maybe it's gonna be that easy and it's gonna be solid wood. So now, coffee? Coffee time? Yeah. Sorry about that. Wait, what did I get to for you today? That's okay. Can I have a grande hot toasted white chocolate mocha with oat milk? A grande toasted vanilla shaken espresso? N no, toasted oh. white chocolate mocha. Oh, white chocolate mocha, sorry. Uh huh. That's okay. Hey, to grande toasted white chocolate mocha? Uh huh, with oat milk. I'm slowly waiting for the day that they don't let me order it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Dang it. That's our factory seasonal. I we don't know. Have it anymore. You guys have, I know. I was waiting out how long you guys would still make <laughs> it for me. <laughs> That's Ooh. sad. I know. My time with the toasted on my chocolate mocha has passed. It's over. I'm not going to be able to get it until the holiday drinks come back. Mm. Sad, sad time for me. Good Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh, it's a new day, you guys. So, Roma and I have already been running around. I just had to return something to the hardware store that I bought that was expensive that I didn't actually need, which was good, a save on some things. Um, and we ran to the thrift store because I felt like I've been working on so many projects and filming like every day that I have not, <laughs> I have not went thrift shopping in forever. So we ran to Ingram, this is what happened. so much of the way that everything's laid out. <gasps> There's two of those. I saw another one up front. Easter.
three bucks. It kind of looks like the one I have in LA that's like kind of like an oxidized silver color, but this is like more gold or brass. It's pretty. So we actually got texture on the walls. Shocking. I'm gonna put in like a little thing. It's, it's hard to tell. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera. Like it's just so slight. And so we, we got the texture. They did over spray a little bit. So um, my she rock guy is there, just cleaning. He's doing such a good job. I like him a lot. Um, so while they're kind of like just cleaning the walls where the overspray happened from the texture uh, onto like some beadboard and um, some of the level five areas, it was not good that were kind of like fine-tuning we are going to clean we have my dad's shop back we are going I'm running to the dollar store right now um, to pick up like a bucket and some sponges because I want to try uh, well I need to get off any sheetrock off my windows and the front door um, that's kind of like our project for today so you guys will be on a little bit of a sheetrock cleaning day with us picking up all the paper I'm just so tired of seeing it a mess you know when we're when we're done all that needs to come back is the electrician they're not gonna make them out they're pu just putting in this stuff we can start working on the flooring so we got to start getting the house like prepped clean and things so I'm gonna get some sponges and a bucket I think that that might be all I need or maybe some kind of solution maybe some CLR stuff my mom wanted me to try for the windows like the um, hard water stains on the old old windows I might get some of that stuff too um, okay let's go get it let's see if they have like CLR I got a car washing bucket. <laughs> I mean, I went to the dollar store. I got some magic erasers, this microfiber, um, a micro sponge. Basically, I was in the car section because they had the biggest spongy type thing. I'm just so excited to actually get the contractors out of the house and the house cleaned up when it's dried in. So it's like gonna stay clean. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is, it's major. It's major. I'm gonna be in Europe for two weeks and I'm gonna be gone from Texas for a whole nother week because I'm flying back to LA first. So, all together, three weeks away from Kinsley is what I keep thinking. <laughs> My little baby. Um, and also three weeks away from the house, but I'm so glad all of the contractor work is going to be done. I think the only thing that's gonna happen while I'm gone, the guy that's been restoring uh, the vintage clawfoot tub for the guest bathroom, it's probably, it's not done yet. So it's probably going to be delivered. So my mom will take care of that. She will, she's instructed uh, to get us footage, um, but it's, I'll put in a picture of it. It's in its final coating stage and it's going to be beautiful. It's five and a half foot, so it's a little bigger than a normal vintage clawfoot tub that you normally see. It's, they're normally about five. That's a traditional size is five. And then he did have a couple of six footers, but they were like too expensive. Out of budget, even though a six foot would have fit very nicely in the guest bathroom. I mean, it was already starting. He's already back. You even gotta pick up paper. Let's do some fun things, shall we? Let's clean. So we're gonna pick up all the paper and use my dad's shop back to see if we can get up some of the, oh. Who's making more of a mess? <laughs>
we're gonna sand all the floors. So it doesn't make sense to like go crazy cleaning, um, but we're getting off the large chunks and the front door. have to clean it up and it's you know it was already done so I'm gonna clean that right now basically all to prep to do the floors we tested a huge spot on the floor um, over Christmas oh it's okay over Christmas and where the glue was still there it was melting so we definitely have to scrape it up or just get it off so Romeo's working over there and I'm gonna scrape in vacuum Cage of bone, I wonder if it'll ever free my soul. Cause I've been serving 20 some years in the same old body with the same old fears, following me around like a shadow. I can feel it, something good is coming down the line. And I can see. Come to my boat, it's all gonna be alright. To be alive. So we worked until very late. It was already dark, but now we are at the movies. Romeo is dying to see Batman, and I am too, after all the good reviews. So we are gonna watch Batman. I'm not gonna bring my camera in, but we are gonna get food, yeah? Hurry before the concessions Oh, okay. Close. Yeah, they close over here. We don't know why. <laughs> you know, my only mope like you to run it. You don't just work for God, my thought going. You work for them too. What are you, crazy? <sighs> so we got back at like midnight last night from the movie. It was long. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, um, but I really liked it. I thought it was more interesting. I thought it made it more interesting. I like the storyline, that there was a storyline. Um, so if you haven't seen Batman, you should watch it and see what you think for yourself. Today, Romeo is flying back to LA today. Uh, and then I'm gonna meet him there and then we're gonna go to Europe. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And don't forget to check out HelloFresh. You guys can get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts with code McKenna16. So check that out. I'm gonna take him to the airport and then I'm gonna go to work down at the house all day. Excited, just things to do, getting it like moving ready when we get back from Europe, I guess. I think, yeah, I think that that could be possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys again Sunday for another renovation video and Tuesday for another vlog. Bye guys.